What's up guys, Sal here. So what are the typical parameters you would look at while purchasing a new phone? Is it the cost, display size, resolution, battery life, durability, camera or operating system? However, did you know that when it comes to driving optimum performance, there are three parameters that are actually important. Processor, the type of storage and RAM. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which will bring significant upgrades in performance and efficiency compared to the S22 Ultra. The S23 Ultra will also have UFS 4.0 storage that's not only twice as fast as the one on its predecessor, but it's also 45% more efficient. Now, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is also reported to have the world's fastest RAM on any mobile phone, the LPDDR5X bringing a complete upgrade in all three important parameters when it comes to driving optimum performance on a mobile phone. Samsung says that the new memory reaches 8.5 gigabits per second speeds, which is the industry's fastest speed for DRAM. The S22 Ultra has LPDDR5 RAM and its maximum data rate is 6.25 gigabits per second. So this means we're seeing a 36% improvement in RAM speed. Samsung also mentioned that they achieved this record speed with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, which pretty much confirms the upgrade for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This will enhance user experiences with new features and improved performance for high-octane data service applications, including 5G, camera, AI applications, and more. Not only that, the new RAM is more efficient as well. So coupled with the new chipset, new storage, and new RAM, the S23 Ultra will surely have a noticeable improvement in performance while also providing more battery life than its predecessor. Now we also have some other information about the S23 Ultra. Ice Universe mentions that Samsung has increased the weight of the phone by 6 grams. The S22 Ultra weighs 228 grams, but the S23 Ultra will weigh 234 grams. The additional 6 gram is probably coming from the frame at the sides, which is now a little wider. If you're wondering, the iPhone 14 Pro Max weighs 240 grams. He also gave information about the camera. You see, the S23 Ultra will give you only two megapixel modes in the camera. One is a full 200 megapixel resolution, and the other is a pixel bent 12.5 megapixel resolution. There will not be a 50 megapixel mode like Xiaomi and Motorola provide with their 200 megapixel phones. Almost all of us are going to use the pixel bent 12.5 megapixel mode on the S23 Ultra, and some of us will take the full 200 megapixel resolution. I don't see a reason why we need this 50 megapixel mode in the first place. And for those wondering, the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra will still support 45 watts of fast charging. Anyway, here's the rumored specification list for the Galaxy S23. Nothing really is changing here except the chipset and the battery. The latter is seeing a 200 mAh bump this time. To see the S23 Ultra's benchmark score with some impressive performance gains, click here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.